All right, so this is a tutorial on how to create a configurable product. <coughs> um, configurable products are very similar to a group product, except for that instead of showcasing or showing all of the products on a page in, an, in a linear format, <coughs> in this particular case, configurable products use drop downs and the attributes that are associated with the simple products. So, for example, you've got a blue t shirt and a green t-shirt that come in small, medium, and large. You could have a drop down that says color and it would say green and blue and then the secondary option would be uh, the, the small, medium, and large. You would then have a total of <coughs> uh, six products because you'd have the two different color options with three different sizes. So let's go ahead and go into the first portion, portion that we would need to create which would be the attributes. Uh, attributes that are associated with configurable products need to have um, the options put in so that you can select them in the products themselves. So in this particular case we're going to talk about color. I believe, um, yes, so we've got a product in the back end that we've already created that has the color options of black, blue, gold, red, silver, and white. If we needed to add additionals you could just add more in. Also, um, when adding a configurable product in, you have a couple different options, but usually nine out of 10 times it's gonna be a dropdown, and you wanna apply it to simple products. Um, you don't always have to do that. You can, you, you can just leave it to all product types. A um, Couple different things you can do with configurable products and, uh, and attributes are you can filter them. Um, filtering them on the front end. We'll talk about that later, not in this video, but that does give you the option to select only certain colors in a category view and then it filters out the rest of the products. So you'd add those in, then the next step would be to go to the actual product itself. So we'd want to add a product and when we add the product, instead of product type as simple, we'd go down to configurable. And when we do configurable, it's going to have the configurable items that are um, capable of being in a um, configurable option. So we, as we had with the drop down, we have color as an option. So we could hit continue. At this point, I've already created a product, so I'm going to real quick jump to that. And um, we've got these die cut decals. Basically, it's the same generation of, you can basically create your product identical to how we have it um, set up on the group products. The only difference is, is that now when we go down to the associated products, you're going to see a little bit something different. You're going to see, um, by default, if there are products that are available, it's going to show up in this list. So you could say, um, you could go to any. And then because we only have these products that have colors, these are the ones that actually go with it. But in this particular case, you type in the simple product name or the SKU that starts with it. So you can see this is CU457. And then you would then get all the rest of the products in there. Um, once you go through this process, then you just hit save and the product shows up as long as they single the simple products are in stock, which we don't carry stock in this store, they'll show up on the front end. Um, one other thing is, let's go ahead and go to those products real quick. And I'm, I'm not in a simple product, but where you would change the color would be Mm-hmm. <laughs> 